here's Brody Brazil. So you're looking to add a little production value to your podcast or your YouTube videos. I highly recommend a soundboard. Now you're seeing the software side of it on my computer, but more importantly, I also want to show you the hardware that I'm using here on my desk. I have two stream decks. This is the mini version, which is used to switch all these cameras you're seeing. That's totally separate, but this is the Stream Deck XL. It has more buttons. It's got um, just a lot more to look at here and a lot more options for me to use. Now, I have this connected to the software you just saw here on my screen. This is called Farago. These are linked, and it's quite simple. With Farago, which is playing all these sounds, and by the way, we're going to get into some of the um, essential clips that you might want for your soundboard, too, in just a second. I'll, I'll go through and play all of those momentarily, in fact, you can probably read some of the titles up on your screen, but all Farago needs is a certain keystroke to play sounds. Like, for example, if you actually really wanted to hear the toilet, I just hit T on, on my keyboard here. But clearly the other way to do it would be to hit the toilet button. I mean, there's a button right here on Stream Deck <laughs> that says toilet on it. And to replicate what you're seeing here, um, the Stream Deck software is so simple to set up. I mean, all you have to do is tell it what you want the button to show and tell it what you want the button to do. Oops, no, I actually took it away right there, but it was the keystroke five for the, for the wah-wah sound effect. Simple, right? I mean, I, I just hit the button, and there you go. So I'm, I'm using two pieces of software here to get this right. And the reason I'm doing it like this is uh, Stream Deck actually comes with this software that'll that'll play sound effects natively. Um, I can dive into it here, I believe. Oh yeah, right there, soundboard, just play audio. But I, I, I tested it out and I didn't like the way I, I didn't have control of starting, stopping, fading things out, audio levels. It just... It didn't exactly work out for me. I was already using this product, Farago, which is available for um, for the Mac operating system, and I just I really enjoyed the way that it worked and the interface that it was for me. So again, it's quite simple. You can overdo this. You can definitely play way too many sound effects, but I I do want to run you through some of the obvious ones that you would want. Like there's applause, or if you didn't like something. You can boo it right there. Now, I have these keys also programmed in Farago um, set up so that I hit the button, it starts. I hit the button, it stops again, just in case I need it. I can also adjust the audio levels for each clip individually. I can also select the output device that it plays out. So there's a lot of customization here that I can use for this, uh, this soundboard. Again, this is stuff that Stream Deck alone won't do, but if you combine Stream Deck with Farago... This is what you get. And I'll run you through the other sound effects here. You heard that one. There's a buzzer. Who doesn't love that? Quite loud. After a, a good joke. How about the setup to the good joke? And then the rim shot. Um, I have our sound guy or our, our voice guy. Number one. Number two. Number three. And those are if I'm setting up three different things. Um, obviously the toilet, just because you need to throw somebody under the bus. Um, if you were going to a restaurant or a hotel, yeah. Um, if you're going to the club, now I want to point out this button is set up differently so that if I take my finger off it, it stops playing. Watch. Well, let me show you here. Finger on it. So you can do it that way, and the obvious reason that I have it set up like that, yeah, that's 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 exactly it right there. That was the air horn. Uh, if you're a big fan of Mario, power up, extra life, pausing the game, or it's all over, folks. Um, you know, I'm from San Francisco in the Bay Area. Got to have a cable car in there. If something crazy happens, whoa, little record scratch there. Now, also important to show you here that there's what? One, two, three, four times one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So 32 buttons. I didn't know that off the top of my head. 
32 buttons for sound effects. I'm using some of these buttons for different applications. I want multiple pages. So I've set the bottom right button to just rotate me through the pages of the Stream Deck options. And um, that allows me to get to all of these different sound effects that are loaded up on Farago. If you want to just dream with me for a second here. Or let's say you want to hop in the car and get out of here. ASAP. <laughs> Somebody's calling you? Or let's say you want to take a slap shot. Okay, now, speaking of hockey, I've, I've played here just sound effects, but another really production value thing that you can bring to your, your program is ambiance. Like, for example, um, if I want to take you out to hockey practice, right, listen to this. So there you go. I mean, it sounds like... It sounds like you're at the rink, right? Okay, so now take that as your bed and add this. Okay, now add that same slap shot and the puck hitting a crossbar or, or hitting the back bar of, of the goal. Now, see, watch. Or it can be a longer shot. See what I did there? So you can combine these different things and it's not just hockey practice, for example. Let's say you're out in the rain. And, and these are the soundscapes, right, that, that you can create. It's a rainy night. And then the storm moves in. <laughs> and all of a sudden, oh, you know the one I forgot to play? I'll get rid of the rain. Whoa, all right, easy thunder. I'll get rid of the rain here. I'll go back to hockey practice. The one I forgot to give you was the old hockey stop. Pretty good there. Or let's say that uh, you're not at practice. Let's say you're uh, at a baseball game. And all of a sudden, crowd's getting going here because the, the organ player gives you something to enjoy. You see what I'm saying here, though? Uh, you don't want to be at a baseball game? Um, let me take you to Las Vegas. You're on the floor of a casino. So yeah, I've got all these things just ready to go. I also have a button here that's programmed to, with Farago, fade everything out. So let's say I had three things going at once. Thunder, crickets, and the casino. Just a lot going on one button to fade everything out. So that one is also valuable, right? When you're doing your own live stream and there's a lot going on and you just need silence, everybody. You need... Quiet, numbskulls. I'm broadcasting. Yeah, that's, that's also another pretty good one I have here loaded up. Um, so that kind of gives you an idea of the ambiance. There's one more here. Uh, ocean waves. It's just kind of nice, right? To so think about being at the ocean. You're at the beach. It's a beautiful day. Anyway, I'll stop that. Uh, plus for NBC, um, just because that's who I work for, I got that. If, if you want the NBC baseball theme, right? If I'm going to talk about the Oakland A's or if I'm going to talk about the San Jose Sharks, everything's ready to go in just one button push here. Um, I also have this because I, I think it's uh, so special that Dick Callahan, the A's PA announcer, a couple years ago, he recorded this for me, but I like to give it a nice background bed to go with. Leading off for the athletics and playing second base, number six, Brody, Brazil. Right. So that that's ready on a moment's notice. There's also some different music beds here. This is called Chip Tunes. It's kind of got that 8-bit sound to it. There's just an old jazz song. Or if something's getting really crazy. There you go. Little circus. Um, and this one I just entitled um, Optimism. I don't know, it's just, it's kind of got a good, like, flow to it. And I think here I can fast forward. There we go, on Farago, if I, if I click through it, so. Um, that gives you an idea of what's on that page. And then the last page, uh, a couple more favorites here. You gotta have the beer pour. 
I'm a big fan of Sonic the Hedgehog. Back in the day, I don't use that one very often, but I have it. Uh, case I, and I had this for when uh, my son was more of a baby rather than a toddler. <laughs> like if I had to, if I had to go run and get him real fast during the live stream, or um, we've had a, we've had a dog for many years now here. <laughs> he doesn't sound like that, but <laughs> it always gets me thinking, like, where is he? Uh, so that's that one. Um, this one is a is a favorite and a classic because this sound just brings me back to like 1997. You've got mail. See, I don't have that one, but hey, that's another great idea for a sound effect. And that's the thing about a soundboard is that you always kind of realize maybe what's another one I should add to the arsenal here. And there's still, as you can see, plenty of real estate left on my screen for Farago. I can add a lot more sound effects. And the cool thing is here on the stream deck, I can just make as many pages as I need uh, for hotkeys and different sounds that uh, I want to trigger. So I think that's actually the end of, of the entire video here. I've shown you what I can about um, the soundboard, um, like I said, there's some adjusting with volume levels and you don't want them to come in too hot. So you really want to uh, pre-produce everything, adjust it so that it, it plays at the right volume and level that you need. But yeah, as for this, it's a lot of fun. Um, use it carefully, use it sparingly. Uh, enjoy what you can on your soundboard and hopefully what I've shown you here helps. If you're live streaming, like I said, or podcasting or just making YouTube videos, this can be a great little little tool for you to use.